All right, good morning. I am uh, I'm here in the parking lot at Cabela's uh, waiting on Jeff, my cousin, and my dad. So <clears throat> the three of us are headed down to uh, southern West Virginia today uh, for the late uh, hog season. So for, this will be the first time for, for dad and Jeff uh, hunting hogs here in West Virginia so I'm excited to uh, to share that with them but uh, of course Josh and Zach were supposed to be hunting today but Josh is a terrible planner and Zach had to work so Zach has a pretty good excuse but anyway plus Zach's already killed one um, but anyway I'm excited to uh, to go down here it's a it's a gun season we're going to be on the ground, um, just spotting and stalking. So hopefully we can find them. We've got a pretty good idea of where they, where they, you know, they might be, uh, just from where Zach was seeing them so much back in bow season. So I'm kind of hoping they're in that same area. But we're going to get down here and get after them. Uh, I'm excited. The uh, there's not many hogs in West Virginia, so <clears throat> it's kind of a rare thing. The uh, I talked to the DNR last year and they the story goes that there wasn't many like big game animals like deer bear turkey uh, in the southern part of West Virginia uh, back in like the 70s so it was like the early 70s the DNR introduced these uh, these wild Russian boar down there just to give sportsmen something to hunt and they thought that they would like spread more than they than they did, but they've kind of stayed in pockets down in the uh, you know the southern counties. So uh, it's kind of a rare thing to uh, to get to chase or get to hunt. Uh, we're gonna do it today, so it should be fun. down here and uh, it's, it's obviously breaking day I'm trying to get these guys moving getting them to uh, to get ready so they're uh, getting the guns and we are actually we're gonna head out on this point right here we've seen three or four other uh, trucks guys hunting um, one of them actually went right up on this uh, on this hill kind of behind us so we could help each other out by pushing pushing to each other you just never know but it's pretty cold um we're just going to ease along this road out through here and uh see if we can find some So we've worked all the way out this 
ridge top. It's about three quarters of a mile from where the truck's at. We found plenty of tracks, but nothing fresh. It's just old tracks. So, I'm thinking we're gonna have to try a different area. The wind's kind of bad, and it may have these hogs laying down over on a hillside out of the wind. That's where I'd be if I was in. Well, we jumped a few deer. Five ran right across the front of me. Yeah, that's the five we jumped. On that single one that I saw earlier above me, yeah. as soon as I started up through there, I saw it go up the hill. Yeah. And then that's five, I could have shot all five of them. Yeah. We it's, put them right across in front of me. I know. And of course they stopped when they hit the road up there. That's what we said, we were like, they're right over top of Jeff. <laughs> there's all kinds of tracks, but nothing fresh. But there's there's no tracks up here at all. There's no tracks on that road. Really? But now when I first started with that little chute that I went up, oh, yeah. there's all kinds of tracks right yeah. there. But that truck's parked right straight across to where the road comes and goes back down into this hollow. But they're walking the main road. Out that way? No, they they walked out that way and they turned around and walked back. Hmm. It must just be glass in the hollow there, so. I say. With it frozen, it's hard to tell if anything's fresh or not. You know? I know. Once it freezes, you can't tell. <clears throat> I say we go back. I mean, most tracks were back out that way. Yeah. I say we go back over there because. Well, those guys are walking around up in that area they could push something right to us yep. maybe somebody get up on the I top say, if you want to your dad walk back out that road again yeah i'll stay up high yeah i'll so walk back out the road and then I'll, when i get back to where i came up at i'll get on the ridge line go up walk it. yeah yeah is that if there's anything better than those little oaks right maybe it comes out of there so yeah i'd say they're bed and in this wind and stuff too as cold as it is, we'll get up and move at some point. I know. With that wind, with that wind blowing this way, yeah. if there's something up there, it ought to oh, hopefully jump. Yeah, that would definitely smell here. <laughs> yeah. We are back to where we started this morning. And Dad and I are standing here, and then Jeff is, he went over to the other side of this ridge and he's walking kind of towards us through this thick stuff up on top, see if he can possibly push something our way. Back of the, we're back of the truck now. No hogs yet today. We covered some ground, but we're gonna try getting the truck here and drive over to a, a new area and see if we can find some. We just spotted a really big hog. It's a long ways away, but we got the binos on it. You can see it pretty good. I didn't get any video of it because it was so far, but it's a good one. We're gonna try and... This rope goes around for doesn't this one right here goes by the telescope poles? It goes above it, and then there's another road, a four of the road that cuts down. Okay, yeah, because right here is where those guys are parked. 
Yeah, okay, so yeah. gotcha. So we'll get out here above him and see. Let's see if we can see him again. Yeah. Probably a big boar by himself, too. Probably. Yeah. We actually, actually, when I first saw it, I thought it was a bear. And then Jeff said bear, and then Dad said bear, and then it turned its head and. Yeah, it, it was a hog. No, it's a hog. So it's a good one. He is dark, too. Oh, he's black as can be. Get up there and see. My hands are freezing just being out there for a little bit of time. Of course, it's 22. You don't have it's 22 degrees. Yeah, drop. Yep. Can you see that pond down there? Should be able to step up and see it right here. I think. Let's check. Okay, so basically, we've gone past this hog where we saw him and parked the truck. He, he's down below us, so we're gonna go down this hill in this ditch and start working our way back towards him. He's got plenty of places to get away from us. All he's gotta do is go over the berm and he's probably gone forever, but we're hoping if he stays up and stays in this ditch, we could work to him. seeing a hog, yeah. <coughs> I never saw, I just saw him 
take a step or two on her so I can take off running or anything. I'm afraid he already went over the berm, over the hillside. Yeah, Dad. I think he's done. He quit. He quit squealing. Yeah. That just happened. <laughs> yeah, Dad. He was squealing. That's the first hog. That's Dad. The first hog. That second shot. Does he move right there? Right there. I don't. You didn't hit him at all. The first shot. That's not another one stepping up here, is it? No. I hope he got that water. I think that's exactly where he's at. I think he went right down the hill. Right down in the water. I wonder where that one come from. Boy, I just have to look back to the Yeah. There you go. I was talking to the camera. You were like, Jay. Careful, there's a hole right here. Don't step in this hole. We got we got over there and I spotted him in this all these briars. Yeah. And I said, Jay, there, there's a really dark spot that he and Jay looked. Then he took a few steps. So we tried to get in a little better position and he must have seen us or something. Yeah, Jeff, why don't you get under the side hill? Uh-huh. <laughs> Next time I need a rope to tie off and mountain climbing poles both. I knew I was gonna be in trouble though because the wind's blowing this way, so as soon as I turn the corner. Well that's what we were hoping. I know it's blowing this direction. He must have already been on the flat. Well, there's not a flat. Not he must flat. have been on the rest of the steep below me. The first one we saw, I, I, I'm guessing, went you know that way. But then I think this is the one that we just saw. I think whenever 
Exactly. Whenever we made our move, I think he just worked out this way or something. He well, have. but he was coming. I know he came from He's that coming. way. He could have circled around. But it, it could have been a, it could have been a different hog too. Exactly. Where's he laying at? Right there. Where was that when you shot him? Uh, right on this hillside. He he completely missed him the, the first, first shot, shot. <laughs> and and they just stood there. He shoots and the hog just stood there and I was like, shoot him again. I saw dirt fly. Right behind him. He shot Jay, right over him. Jay said, hit him again. It's a little bit worse. I don't know. We haven't been down there. So, we were up on this hill. First place we saw, and we looked down there and saw the big hog. We came all the way out the ridge, came down, and then there's a road that brought us right here. And, uh, Good job, Uncle Jamie. The, the first one that we saw when we got down here, we lost it because we started to move and couldn't find it. And we decided to just sit there and be patient, and it paid off. So we we'll probably sit here all day and kill another one because they're going to come to water at some point. Yeah. Even though it's cold, they still got a drink. So that's so awesome, man. That's cool. Dad's first time hog hunting. He gets one. <laughs> Well, Dad and Jeff are loading up the back of the truck. It has been a very successful morning. Dad killed his first hog ever, and uh, we had a blast doing it. So, we're probably going to eat some lunch, see if uh, go check out another area, um, see what Jeff wants to do, and uh, yeah get our bellies full for a little bit so if you like this video uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next one